Hello! I wanted to give you guys an update because uh, I haven't posted a video in a few days. Um, one, uh, I've been working on the gray 1985 Corvette, tearing down the top of the motor, uh, getting to the heads. And this right now is its current condition and you'll see it in a, I'll, I'll add in a video clip into this. So, um, what I wanted to ask though is how would you like to see these? videos of me breaking down the top of the motor down to the heads, replacing the heads and doing a whole gasket and rebuild from the top up. Because I can tell you that the first video of what is probably going to be about three days is about an hour long. The second video is about an hour and a half long. And the third video is probably going to be about an hour to an hour and a half as well. Now. I can break up each one of those into three or four pieces of the different items that were taken apart in that part of the video at that time, or I can leave them as they are, or I can post not only the long version of the video, so for the people that just want to sit there and watch the whole thing from beginning to end, or also set it up as putting smaller videos, you know, 10 to 15 minutes a piece per part so <laughs> I'm looking for some of your guidance on that um, should I do both long and cut up short for each one or should I just do all short or should I just do all long uh, it's up to you and like I said uh, this is its current condition you're gonna see uh, a piece of um, one of the upcoming videos here in a second and uh, that'll go from there. Um, we are getting ready to order the parts for the red Corvette, uh, and that's gonna be a weekend that we sit down and we just blast that totally out of the way uh, and get it off the jack stands. Uh, an update on the red Corvette is we need uh, to do the parking brake mechanisms in the rear rotors. Uh, and get that taken care of. We have that in stock with the parts that we got for the vehicle because we went through all the parts and there should be a video on that coming out soon. Um, the front end, the front brakes are fine. We're gonna, though, we're gonna bleed and change out uh, the brake fluid uh, because I remember in the video it looks like there's some sediment in the bottom of the um, sections of the brakes, the, the front and and rear oh my god I, f I forgot their name the uh, where you pour the brake fluid in <laughs> it's been a long day today and it's like 95 <laughs> you're lucky I'm outside um, the other thing on this is uh, the motor is all checked out everything's fine with the motor everything's fine with the transmission that leak is not on the transmission pan the leak that we saw on the transmission pan has not returned since we've tightened the bolts. It still looks as nice as we showed you in the other video, uh, the introduction to the car uh, that shows the clean bottom of the transmission pan. The oil leak on the engine has not returned. There is, it just looks as clean as it did the, on the video uh, after we tightened the bolts onto the oil pan as well. Uh, so yeah, so basically, um, all the, all the weather stripping, the uh, door panels, the uh, door handle basils for each side, uh, miscellaneous light bulbs and sockets, like uh, for that replacing that socket in the driver's side rear, finding out why um, the courtesy lights don't turn on when you turn on the direction for left or right. Those are all things we're going to iron out as we move forward with this one. But uh, we see this one being a lot quicker uh, than the gray one, getting back to a daily driver status. Um, one, we're not doing the carpets. Two, the seats were already done. Three, the dash and console looks good as it is. And like I said, there's only one problem, that one segment of the seven segment LED on the uh, driver's cluster, on the uh, gauges. Uh, that's bad in that. 
Um, everything else on this car works as it's supposed to. All right. Um, so again, uh, please smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And you have a great day, and thank you for watching.